Since its creation in 2016, FOV has been on the ground to assist many vulnerable women and children. In 2022, FOV put in place a health clinic facility at Insambia Chirombe to ensure equity in health care and in universal health coverage for this category of vulnerable people. Efforts are particularly made in prevention and health promotion of HIV and AIDS and malnutrition through awareness sessions and health education. Mr. Teresa K. Salibonko, the Executive Director of FOV Uganda, telling us much about FOV activities. I'm called Teresa K. Salibonko, the Executive Director of Fraternity of the Vulnerable Uganda. FOV focuses in different sectors, in health, in education, and also water and sanitation. In health, sector FOV managed to put in place a health clinic facility to support these vulnerable people among which refugees and community hosts. Call Sombola, the permanent doctor at FOV Clinic, giving us details about the ongoing programs in the health department. I work at FOV Clinic as a permanent doctor. We provide health care to our community that is really vulnerable. Uh, because most of them are refugees and some nationals. Here at FOV Clinic, we deal with common diseases like malaria, typhoid, UTI, pneumonia. We also organize uh, free medical checkup, health education to refugees. Apart from that, we, we also deal with minor surgeries and in this we have promoted the safe male circumcision. We are really helping people. When poverty increases, there is need for health care whereby variables find it very difficult to access health care. Dr. Yusuf Ramadan talking about challenges found by the clinic. He, however, called upon all well wishers to pattern with the Fourth Health Department. We have uh, challenges which we are facing, and uh, some of these challenges include uh, manpower. We need more manpower in terms of lab technicians, the nurses, and midwives so that we can be able to help our community and the most vulnerable people in our community. Then we also need drugs. As you can see, our shelves are not well equipped with the drugs because we are treating here babies, uh, adults who have problems ranging from malaria, UTI, typhoid, gastroenteritis. So we need a lot of drugs which can help us to serve these people because there are many. We have the refugees who come here for treatment, but also the most poor people surrounding us, they all need our services. Every trimester we, we make sure we organize um, IO screening and we, we provide them reading glasses for those who, who need, but we still have many challenges. Uh, we really need material support. We are going to start maternity services. We are going to start helping mothers to do safe delivery from our clinic. But we are still lacking uh, equipments for safe uh, maternal delivery. The delivery kits, the beds, delivery beds, we need like four to five so that we can help these mothers. Because now in our country, Uganda, at least every day 16 mothers are dying due to problems that are related from pregnancy, during labor, before labor and after labor. 
And this is because most of these mothers, they deliver from outside the health system and they end up having problems of bleeding. So if our community, our people that we serve can come here and deliver from here, we shall save lives. We also need fridge to keep our vaccines in a cold chain environment, like a tetanus toxoid vaccines. These ones we give them to mothers who are in pregnant, who are in pregnant period. We also uh, keep oxytocin in the fridge because it needs a cold environment. It can decompose on room temperature. So we need that fridge to help in those uh, situations. We shall need a uh, minor theater to help uh, to do minor surgeries to our people and the surrounding community. So we can add on more activities like hydrocin repair, uh, hernia repair, uh, hydro uh, hemorrhoids repair, and also excision of lipoma, cysts. All these activities, they need a special room called minor theater, which we can have here uh, when you help us, so that we can help our, our people, the most vulnerable people in our community. So we shall need sterilizer machine to help us to sterilize these equipments so that you can have safe minor surgeries without complications of sepsis and other complications of poor healing, ulcerations after surgery. And we shall need the surgical bed, the surgical light. All these ones will help us to have an active fourth clinic services. Then as we go on, we are planning also to have a CMEs here. CMEs means continuous medical education. We shall invite those nurses who are in service, those who are working in nearby clinics, those who are working in government institutions, to come here and get some knowledge, some basic life skills like first aid. You want to contact FOV? You can send that email address at fov.uganda at gmail.com.